Yes, brothers and sisters. Hope everyone's well. We're in sunny Sweden. Me and Lou went to watch a bare knuckle show last night, which was all right. Um, up early this morning watching the Good John fight. Just want to give a massive shout out to Tyler Good John. You know what a warrior. Love watching Tyler fight. Always have done for years. Even when he fought one of my bare knuckle heroes, Sean George. I was like, wow, what a fighter. And it was a pleasure watching him in action again last night, this morning. Seen a lot of comments and that saying <clears throat> he got robbed. When I was scoring it, I had Tyler one round up. I had 2-2 two -two going into the last round. And I give Tyler the last round. Anyway, when I watched it back, from a bit more of an unbiased point, there was no robbery. You know, if it had gone to Tyler, it wouldn't have been a it wouldn't have been a robbery. It could have gone either way. It was one of them type of fights, and it was hard to score. If you're going off aggression first, then damage done, which I think is how the U the BKFC score. Then you know you could have given it to Tyler, but you know there was no robberies. When I watched it back, the fifth round was that hard to score. You know, there was nothing in the fifth round. There wasn't a lot in the second round either. So. You know, I tip me hat to both men. But, uh, you know, you know what you're going to get with Tyler Good, John. He's uh, just a warrior. His heart's on display all the time. You know, he never takes a backward step. And he's like the gatekeeper, isn't he, at that division? You know, if you want to get into the top five, you've got to go through Tyler Good, John. I was disappointed for him. You know, I really, really wanted him to win. You know, I like Tyler. But it's, it is what it is, you know, you get these things. Uh, Soto looked knackered. He looked absolutely blown out his ass at the end of the third round. I thought Tyler's going to up a gear him here in these last two rounds. But listen, credit to uh, Soto. He, he stuck in there. He hung in there and, you know, he done what uh, what warriors do. What champions do, you know, they use their, use your head, you know, and he was tying up a bit and he was spoiling, especially in that third round. He was hurt a few times in that third round and he was hanging on and he was spoiling and he was chawing a breather here and there. But listen, I thought it was a brilliant fight to watch. Could have went either way. There was no robbery. You know, there wasn't a robbery. I did, I did give it to Tyler, 48, 47. But still, there was no arguments with the decision. It was one of them type of fights. I was looking in the comments and that on the, on the, <laughs> the, uh, the BKFC Insta. And a lot of people don't know what they're talking about. You know, they really don't. There was someone there referring to Tyler as a bum. Yeah, we had a phone call there. <clears throat> yes, listen. To call Tyler Goods on a bum just got under my skin a little bit. Stuff like that doesn't usually bother us, but just had a bit of emotional investment in that fight. You know, I did really want Tyler to win. But uh, Tyler will come again. I, I relate to him in, in a lot of ways. You know, I mean, he's obviously got a bit of a, a better skill set than me. But uh, one good crack and my face is split wide open. I've got that much scar tissue now. It's uh, just a danger. For bare knuckle always thinking you're going to get stopped on cuts but tyler done what he done you know he, he, he didn't stop going forward his heart and his will to win is there for everyone to see but uh there was no robbery you know there was definitely no robbery it was one of them type of fights that could have went either way and that was it you know and i just want to give a big shout out to tyler good john my brother well done and um, I'll speak to you soon. I'll drop you a message, maybe later on or something. I hope all is well. Bye-bye for now, people.